everyone's always riding downhill bikes, huge enduro bikes at Whistler. But you know what? I think it's time to bring the hardtail out. This is a Noli Tyodden. It's got zero mil of travel in the rear, 150 mil in the front, 29 inch Noble TR38 carbon wheels on it, and okay, let's go see if this is a terrible idea or a great idea, or a terribly great idea. All right, let's go. All right, up here in the Garbo zone, second lift up in the Whistler bike park, on the hardtail going into Original Sin, single black tech trail. Okay, so far, you know, the trails are reasonable. Maybe not going my usual pace, but you know, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> Who needs suspension? I do really love this Noli Tyotin hardtail. It's such a smooth feeling bike. You guys are probably thinking, oh, he's gonna ride the hardtail in the bike park. He's probably just gonna ride the flow trails. Nope, we're riding the tech. Literally the exact opposite of what you'd want to ride a hardtail on. High speed, bumpy tech. Wow, ah, the braking bumps are aggressive though. Today's video is brought to you by Insta360. I'm shooting on the Insta360 X3 mounted to the chin bar of my full face. I'm shooting in the 360 mode right now at 5.7K. I'm doing vivid colors, minus 0.5 EV comp, and auto everything else. I'm also doing low sharpness, and I also use the stereo only wind mode. I don't use the wind reduction. I put my own little fluffy wind covers on there, and then I think the audio sounds a little better. What I really love about the 360 mode is that I can shoot both horizontal video for YouTube, like this video right here, but I can also use the exact same shot for vertical video. And in today's videos, like with the hardtail, where I'm really only going to want to do some of these moves once, I want to use that exact same clip for vertical and horizontal. I don't want to have to flip the camera and do anything again. If you want to grab your own X3, there's a link down in the description, and if you use that link, you also get a special free gift. So thanks again for Insta360 for sponsoring today's video. Go check them out, and all right, let's get back to the video. Okay, still on Original Sin. Starting to get into the chonk. The really high-speed chonk. Oh, boom, boom. Boom. Then, whoa! Okay, not bad, not bad. I really was expecting this to be super duper rough, but it's totally rideable. You only have a hardtail. If you want to come to the bike park, and just go for it. Is it gonna be as smooth as a full suspension? No, but are you gonna have fun? Of course. Do little nose moves like that. Get into the jank. Whoa! <laughs> Talk to the camera. End up not paying attention. Take terrible lines. Whew. But you can romp the trails. All right, let's go see if this can handle a pro line side hit. Ooh. Jumps are a little different, especially really high speed jumps. Okay, let's see here. Just down here. Oh yeah, no problem. Do I try to fill the ape on this thing? Ooh, okay, let's do it, let's do it. Here we go, terrible idea or terribly great idea. I said, will I die doing this on the hardtail? Let's find out. Let's go really slow. Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay. This hardtail is just so capable. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty much riding all the stuff I would ride on my big full suspension. I think the one place actually where this hardtail is 
scarier, counterintuitively, is the high-speed jumps. Because I'm used to preloading the rear and the way I jump. So, I'm gonna have to play a little safe because I don't want to get mega bucked. Okay, let's ride some more double black tech, I guess. Oh wait, I haven't done any double black tech yet. We did single black tech and a couple side hits that are labeled as Proline. So we're gonna go into in deep here. This is a double black tech trail here. Whew. Take the hard tail. A little romp. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to try and go race pace on this thing, but. Oh, that's really not too bad. Not gonna do the side hit. Just gonna romp the regular stuff. Uh, let's see if I can make this. Oh. Whip. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> nice. Whew. I know a ton of other people have ridden hardtails in the park, but they're always like pros. They can ride anything. I've seen Pilgrim flip whip a child's tricycle. Me, on the other hand, oh, just a goober trying to make it down the mountain. Okay. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, now I said it was avoiding side hits, but uh, let's try one more side hit. The triple hump. Funny enough, I actually find the hardtails like maybe a little easier to Nice. do like that tight little tech stuff on. There's just so much precision with it that, yeah, it almost feels easier. Okay, oh, this is where it gets really rompy and rocky. Take it a little easy here. Oh, if you won't hit that double this time. <laughs> There's the one thing I love about like a downhill bike is you can just make terrible choices. Just doubling into rocks and roots is no problem. The hardtail really get rewarded for good line choice. And I, thought, oh, I never take good lines. So I'm never being rewarded. Nice and slow here. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Huh. Okay, we're doing it. We got it. Huh. You can somewhat roll this little drop here. All right, we're alive. We made it through the double black. Wow. All right, let's do too tight here. This should actually be pretty fun on the hardtail. Relatively smooth. Just nice single track. It's got, it's got some brake bumps, but it's not too bad. Yeah, this is sick. The hardtail feels so nimble and precise. So for a trail like too tight, as the name might suggest. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, can't miss the skinny. OG line. Nice.
Okay, let's try a line. At least a little bit of a line on the hardtail. See how it goes. Just gotta get the muscle memory set up for ooh, the hardtail. Okay, so far so good. Oh yeah, no problem. It actually feels quite good. A little bit of racer line there. <laughs> and by racer line, I mean I went slow and low. Not actual racer line. Okay, okay, so we can do the tech and jumps. Let's try out kind of a flow here. Ninja Cougar. Maybe we'll go take a look at Fade to Black on the hotel. That should be interesting. Sure, let's go look at Fade to Black. All right, just stopped down here to take a thumbnail for the video. I just wanted to show you the drop on Fade to Black that we're about to do on the hardtail, of course. I think it's, I'm six feet and it's another foot above me. So it's probably seven feet. This is somewhat of a road, so also road gap. So yeah, let's go give it a go though. No problem. I feel like I'm always nervous about the hardtail. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be, you know, the hardtail's not gonna be able to handle it. And so far, it's handled it way more than I was expecting. Jumps feel great, drops feel nice. And I've, you know, I've done all this stuff before on downhill bikes, on big enduros, so I knew what it felt like. But somehow feels pretty smooth and not nearly as bad as you'd think for having no suspension. So if you're ever wondering, like, oh, can I ride my trail bike in the bike park? Of course. You can ride whatever you want. I saw some people with panniers once. I don't know where they were going, but they had cross-country style bikes with panniers on. All right, a little bit more blue flow. Samurai Pete's cat. Ooh, a little chunky in the end there, but no problem for the tie on. All right, going into Pulp Fiction, some double black tech. Terrible line. Most of the bike park is just so well built. You really can just ride any bike you want here. Let's try and do some tech though. Airline tech is gonna be pretty wild on this thing. You know, not too bad. Whew. 
<laughs> oh, a little short there. Take this one a little easy. Oh, we made it. We made it down. That was really not a problem for the hardtail at all. I don't know what I was so worried about. All right, so I was only gonna do one lap, but I actually had just so much fun on the hardtail that I figured I'd come and do some more biking. So should we go check out Dirt Merchant on a hardtail? Why not? This jump I'm a little nervous about. Take it maybe a bit easy. Yeah, take it easy. It actually wasn't too bad, but... Just I have such muscle memory for the full suspension that when I go to preload and there's nothing there, it throws me off a little bit, but actually it's been not bad. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of a case. We're on the hardtail, so I got an excuse.
Holy moly. All right, that's it for the hardtail video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought, like, did you think it was gonna be rough and insane and Whistler bike rock be too much? I mean, that's kind of what I thought. I thought it would just be crazy, but you know, the builders there at the park have done a great job and I think the Tayotin is just such a well-rounded bike that, yeah, I actually had a great time. I would literally, I would do another lap on this thing if I wasn't too dead tired. Anyways, that's it for the video. See you guys in the next one. And thanks to Insta360 for sponsoring today's video. Go check them out in the link in the description. Okay, now I'm going home, now for real.